welcome back to our channel today i'm going to be talking about drinking water and primarily the water that we collect with drain pipes and guttering and with large storage containers like our ibc containers if you've been following our vlogs you'll know that we don't have a fresh water supply on our field so we have set up a system of guttering all around our stable to collect rainwater and try to alleviate the amount of water that we have to carry here by car every day which really does take a toll on your car the problem with collecting rainwater is that how do you know if it's safe also because two of the ibc containers that we've got here we actually inherited when we took on the field so we had no idea what had been in them before, whether they were safe to use or if there'd been any chemicals in there, which is the biggest problem with using secondhand IBC containers. I have to admit, this has been stressing me out quite a lot. And I looked online to see if there was a way that I could have the water tested, but the prices were coming out at between 160 and 350 pounds per test. Well, we've got two IBC containers hooked up so far and the big blue water bucket that we collect our rainwater in that's used constantly by our horses. So that's three tests that would need doing. So that would have worked out a lot of money. And well, if you've been following our vlogs, you'll see that we really are on a budget. So I've researched ways that you can test water that really does not break the bank. And while researching, I found the best thing to use, and also one of the cheapest things to use, was this. Just a drinking water kit. I got this one from Amazon, but you can get them from eBay. They start from around £8 and go up to around £20 to £25. This one tests 17 parameters, and it also comes with two bacteria tests, which the much cheaper kits don't come with, unfortunately. So what's in the box? You get this pot with a hundred test kits in it. They all come in sealed little pockets like that. And inside are the test strips, which look like this. As you can see, there are 17 different test patches on there. And that's because it tests 17 different parameters in the water. The best thing is it's really easy to use. The kit comes with this little test tube and the water bacteria tests come in these little pots here. There's also an instruction manual, but to be quite honest, it tells you how to use it on the box and it's so easy. And then all you have to do once you've used it is line up your strip next to these here. So they line up like this. And then on the side, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the 17 different parameters that you're testing against so i thought we'd start out by testing a standard bottle of water drinking water bought from the shop oh, very nice and refreshing all you need to do first of all is fill up the test tube with water like that get your fresh strip and you dip it into the test tube for two seconds, literally two seconds. It says it on the box. One, two, take it out. And then lie the strip down on a flat surface. 
so it says that you're best to just leave the test strip for 30 seconds. And then all I'm going to do is line up the little squares with the ones on the side of the pot and it tells us what the parameters are like of that bottled water. If I line it up for you, you've got on here these little blue bars that say it's okay. So if it's in the right parameters, they'll line up with those blue bars. Here, it's saying that's fine. Very hard water lines up with okay for the amount of hydrogen. I don't know if you can see those. But if you have a look where it says alkaline down here, the alkalinity, still in the okay parameters, but it is really quite high. So now we know what we're looking for, I can now test the water in the IBC containers and in the big blue container. If you've seen our vlogs on how we connected the water stop cap, you'll see that we've got constant flowing water down off the roof that goes into a blue bucket. But I really need to test that. So let's go and have a look. The water comes from this tap here i've got the cap on at the moment because the bucket's full but usually that's open if this bucket is empty so if we just move down to where our blue bucket is we can fill it with water and now we can test it with the test strip i'm going to dip it in for two seconds to take it out and again I'm going to lie it on the flat surface I'm just going to leave it 30 seconds and it's done now this is just rainwater that is collected from the gutter in off the top of the stable and has run straight into the blue bucket so let's have a look there's our parameters let me just show you the previous one. So the bottled water, there's the difference. And you can see that the bottled water, very dark up here, which is our pH strip, and very dark down here, which is a very high level of alkaline. Whereas the rainwater, very low pH balance. It's about... 6.8 and also it's shown an alkaline balance of zero so there's a big difference there the ones in the middle are showing that there's a lot of chlorine in the bottled water but none in the rainwater so that's something i wouldn't have really thought about horses don't have access to purified bottled water so naturally they would only be drinking rainwater if you found this video informative then please give it a like and if you'd like to see our adventures on our farmland and see how we do pretty much everything on a serious budget, then subscribe to our channel. Like a